I'm actually at a hands-on experience right now for Motorola with the brand new Razer Plus and Razer for 2023. Two foldable devices that are going to give us a very unique experience because they're actually trying to push the envelope of what we have seen in the past from foldables, specifically flip foldables uh, on the market. The Razer Plus is going to be retailing for roughly about $999 and we don't have the price yet, but I would imagine that the Razer will be even cheaper. Both of them are obviously providing a slightly different experiences and we're going to focus on the Razer Plus in this video. Overall, what you're getting here is an 8 Plus Gen 1 foldable phone that has a 144Hz refresh rate on the external display. Mind you, it's a full display on the top part of the phone, which means not only does it go around the cameras, but it also gives us the ability of actually enjoying um, the ability of opening almost every app and continuing apps from the internal display to the external one. Now, the Razer Plus has three microphones to give us that crystal clear recording for audio as well as phone calls. Uh, we have the 8 Plus Gen 1, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage, at least in the current configuration. Maybe they'll have a different one later on. Three different colors available with the red one being the only one with vegan leather on it. And of course, giving us that really beautiful 4K 60 frames per second all the way on the front facing camera as well as the external camera while we're using them. So it's not a hindered experience what we get there. Uh, the other thing, of course, that we're getting here, stereo speakers, Dolby Atmos, uh, really good 165 hertz refresh rate on the internal display. And we ultimately have uh, that flipping experience. So does it not only close the smaller, but it works really nice. 3,800 milliampere for the battery, 30 watt charging wired and five watt charging wireless. So literally almost a very really well-rounded experience. But the kicker, which nobody else has on the market right now, it actually supports my, uh, Motorola Ready 4. And if you've never used this before, now it is going to be wireless, not wired. There is no video output on the uh, USB-C. But that enables us to use this phone as an external camera to our phone, to our laptop. The ability of projecting that desktop experience and leveraging the 8 Plus Gen 1 to do more with our phone. Really excited. Can't wait to find out more about this device. And of course, share with you guys more once I'm able to do some further testing. But I hope that you're enjoying this really quick clip on the external display of why not show it in the video the brand new Razer Plus one for 2023.